Hey there, it's Josh Hardy with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks a lot for your support. Welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about early spring pond management. If you uh, have watched our channel at all, you know that we uh, spend a lot of time uh, doing habitat management, but, but really just enjoying the outdoors. And uh, we like to say the outdoors is always in season. But uh, it's pond maintenance season. It's a very early start of it uh, here in southeastern Ohio. It's the first week of March. And uh, as you can see here on my pond, I've already got some algae growing. Uh, the pond water is brown and, uh, and messy because we just had ice. Uh, this was covered in ice just a couple weeks ago. And uh, we're having some unseasonably warm weather this weekend in the 70s. But what I wanted to talk about today was uh, three to five of my key products that I use uh, in early spring startup. So I'm gonna show a map here that kind of gives you a lay of the land for the, uh, for the overall US and when pond maintenance season really kicks in. Uh, and for us, it's generally, if I were to pay somebody, it would generally be between April and September. But uh, I'm finding that uh, getting a head start on that is a great idea. As you can see, I'm, I'm surrounded by trees here and uh, I get a lot of the uh, uh, leaves and pine needles that, that get pushed down to this end of the pond. So this is closest to the house. And uh, this is a four acre pond, um, but I have a lot of uh, runoff out of the woods and a lot of uh, uh, debris. So one of the first things I'll do is get out the lake rake and, uh, and do some uh, removal of the heavy organics down at this end. And then from there, um, I'm gonna do two really key things uh, to try to jumpstart this pond here. So I'm gonna add uh, beneficial bacteria. Uh, and the stuff that I use comes under a couple different names. I'll, I'll put a, uh, a link to all of them here in the, uh, in the video. Um, and this stuff can be poured in from the edges. A lot of times I will put it in uh, from a slow moving boat and try to hit as many of the edges as I can. Um, but that beneficial bacteria, what it's gonna do is speed up the decomposition of all of the waste that's fallen into the pond. And uh, this pond's over 50 years old, so we have muck. If I step in off the bank, I'm, I'm a good, you know, probably knee deep in muck. So I pour this stuff in, see a lot of the organics uh, disappear very quickly. It's important not to use your algicides or your herbicides uh, within a week of adding the organics uh, because it's, um, those will actually eat uh, the herbicide and, and uh, algicide. The stuff I use is generally uh, a gallon uh, per surface acre uh, up to four feet deep. That's a pretty good average for me to use four gallons for this. The next thing, uh, that I find uh, very beneficial is, you know, when you look at how uh, bad <laughs> this brown water looks and we're getting a lot of rain and a lot of runoff right now, uh, I am going to put dye in the pond and I run dye uh, throughout the season. This year I'm gonna start it earlier uh, because it'll slow down the growth of the algae. And you can see algae floating already. Uh, that was underneath the ice. You can see algae growing uh, down below that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get some, uh, some dye in here. Uh, I normally use a black dye. Uh, and again, all the products I'm using, I'm gonna link here in the description as well. Uh, I usually use a black dye. I really like the color of the black dye. But I've got some, I think I've got some royal blue that I'm gonna try this year. Uh, and put that in first and then I can go add black to it if I want to, if it's too blue. For me, just the normal coloration uh, of the black, uh, I find really nice. I joke with my wife, because we love going to the, to the uh, Caribbean, I joke that I'm gonna go Caribbean blue, uh, but I just, I'm not quite sure that I can, uh, I can push myself to do that. They do make it uh, and it is available. So uh, the, um, the other thing, as I talk about beneficial bacteria in muck is uh, for those areas where I have high, high concentration of muck, like down here on the end, I'm gonna use products uh, that are uh, solid muck products. So instead of just the liquids, I'm gonna jumpstart that uh, with some muck products. I like two different ones. I use some that are small spikes. Uh, I think they're called Muck Doctor. 
and the bigger ones are a casco marine six pound block and uh, by adding this bacteria into the pond uh, we just get a really you know beautiful pond all year long so uh, those are the things that I'm going to do today is uh, get those into the water and then uh, my next video I'm going to talk about the common issues uh, and how I approach those. So the common issues that I generally am fighting are uh, floating algae and submerged algae. Uh, I have uh, chara, uh, which is another kind of weed-like algae. And I have uh, American pond weed, some curly leaf weed, pond weed. We get some uh, lily pads as well. So I'm going to talk about how I address all of those. The other thing, I'll leave a link here. I hate the geese. The geese get out here and, you know, I don't have a lot of grass uh, bank. So I actually put up like a, what I call the, the goose defense, uh, which is a, a string line all the way around the bank to try to keep the geese from coming in and out. Last year I did a video where we were putting this up on the island. Uh, so I'll leave a link up there for that. But you know, knocking down the organics that come from goose poop, both on land and in the water, is a huge benefit to the overall quality of the water. So, um, looking forward to getting pond season kicked off. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, thank you so much for your support. And uh, if this video was helpful to you, uh, hit that like and subscribe. Share it with a friend. Um, as I mentioned, all the products are linked here. Uh, we do get a small uh, percentage of uh, the sale, a little commission on Amazon. So if you happen to uh, to have a pond and need to, uh, to to buy some of these products, they're ones that I've been using for a number of years and, and find uh, both affordable and uh, beneficial. So thank you so much. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.